What's going on guys, Scallywag here. We're back at it again, heading down to Palm Beach to meet up with the Iguana Man, to do some uh, Iguana hunting. If you don't know who the Iguana Man is, his link will be in the description. This is all this guy does, is just Iguana hunt. Um, hopefully the weather will participate. It's looking kind of cloudy right now, but I'm trying to bring you guys to catch, clean, and cook. Stay tuned, you ride shotgun. All right, guys, this is not looking really good. A lot of clouds, looks like it's been raining down here. Hopefully, it doesn't affect the iguana hunt. Hopefully, we can get at least one or two. Okay, okay, and this is how we're gonna be catching them. We are gonna be using this iguana snare. It's on a 16 foot rod that comes out. It's nice and long, and then at the end, we have this, similar to like a lobster snare. We're just gonna put this around the iguana's body. Boom, it's gonna tighten and we're gonna have an iguana to fight. And we should be able to get him, we should be able to get him. Also, if worse comes to worse, we do have this arrow rifle right here that we can use to take out iguanas. This is a Umarik Scotlet, 25 cal PCP air rifle. Works with air, we got this scope right here so we can spot him out. Uh, hopefully we can put them in the bag All right guys, what's just luck? So we've been striking out all day the weather's not helping hopefully we can catch this guy Which is which is luck we need it Got him. Got you, buddy. The iguanas have been scarce today, bro, with uh, with all this weather. But we're still fortunate to come out here and still get this little guy right here. And this, it's a little feisty. Whoa, whoa, there, smacking on the tail. Whoa, look at that. It's a nice, nice female iguana right here. She was out here just chilling with the. The ducks. Wow, look at those teeth. That is insane. Whoa, and she's getting feisty. You know what, bro? It's it's actually starting to be like like the, a, a pre-breeding season right now. Some of these gals have eggs in them. Believe it or not, an iguana this size can have tons of them. Pretty cool. So how do you know it's a girl? Um, because usually right here, if it's a boy, they usually have these big dots right here. And also, the boys are usually a lot bigger, and they got bigger heads, and sometimes they're red. So I just, I, I assume she was a female or a juvenile, but you can see her stomach right there, like for her size. Yeah, she's, she's, she's pretty, she's either fat or bloated, one of the two. Yeah. Her eggs. I don't know. I just, and look how, oh wow, she's so feisty for a little girl. Look at her. She's like, hey. She's like, look, I was eating, I was hanging out. Don't you dare mess with me. Oh my gosh, I seen an iguana, I seen a video of an iguana on TikTok, uh, his mouth was open and some girl's like, mmm, much. Iguana really? bit her tongue, yeah. So Awesome. We're going to put her in the back because uh, this looks like a good one for lunch. We're going to see if we can get a better one though. We're going to see if we can get a bigger one, but we have this for sure in the back. Awesome. So we got one so far. Just very lightly, just putting a little bit of tape, just like that. It's not tighter at all. It's not tight at all, it's like a little, it's like a little blanket for him. A little tape blanket, look. Look at these legs, they're kind of like frog legs. They really do, and, and most of the power of the iguana is in the back legs. So they'll use that to like run, jump. Okay, so what I like to do is go like that, just squeeze them a little, just make them straight a little bit. Put a little bit of tape right here. Kind of hog time a little bit. Boom. We we never put it on tight. We don't want to, you know, cut the circulation of off the iguana. But we just want to just make it so they're nice and neutral. See, it's not tight. Look, you can see, not tight, not tight. The iguana has plenty of room to just hang out. But look, now the iguana just can't run away. So that's how we like to keep them awesome. nice and tight. Yes, sir. Yeah,
while. Set it on him. There he is. There he is. Here, come up, take a step for it. Okay, there you go. Nice one too. Some male. Look, look underneath them. You see that bulge right there? So iguanas and like other lizards, they apparently they have two reproductive organs. They have two penises. So that's two of them right there. That's just a kind of weird fact, but uh, that just shows that these animals, they you know they love to breed and they're out here and you know we got all these females. There's a male. Like you guys can kind of do the math. And uh, we might even uh, cook one of these girls, so we might open it up and see if there's any eggs in there. Probably try that. But look at those. Oh, let it focus on it. Look at them teeth right there, y'all. Them teeth are nothing to play with. Look at that. <laughs> Good. Got him in the back. Good. male right here. I think this is a male. Oh yeah. So you remember that one that we caught earlier, right? Remember it didn't have these dots in between the leg? Those dots are what we're talking about. Those are the femoral pores. And you see how his head is bigger? And he's got the bigger spikes? And they're kind of orange? You see that pattern right there? It's pretty cool, right? But look, best is yet to come there goes his do lab and you know what he'll do with that sit up there shake it up boom 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 try to attract one of these females i think that's what he was trying to do i think he was looking for a girlfriend and and you'll be surprised but an iguana smaller than this can actually reproduce like i seen a video of like the iguanas were only that big and they were doing they were doing the do bro doing the nasty yeah <laughs> iguana style all right, I'm gonna hold this. There's a few over there. colors he turned isn't that crazy all the different colors that they can turn this guy's really cool he's got, got some blue yeah look at that right check that out this guy completely turned completely different colors look at that that's insane hey buddy all right let's get this guy snipped back up but uh i think there's a big female right there that might be lunch right there bro you see her walking down there let's see if we can sneak up on yeah let's do that
swim too. He's missing half his tail. Big female. So what I always do, right? When I'm always unsnaring them, because this is how some dude, right? They didn't want, they didn't like. He was with my uncle. They didn't want to call me to to get the iguanas, right? They wanted to catch them. So my uncle went by himself. So when they're unsnaring it, it's tight like that, and then he got <laughs> bit like bad. He had to, they just had to stop the hunt. So if I was there, I would have told him, look, this is what you do. Give yourself slack. You know what I'm saying? Give yourself a lot of slack to work with. Make sure. That open right here you know what i'm saying like if it's tight don't rush and try to get it because he could bite you know what i'm saying yeah, you don't want that yeah not with these teeth right here they're like shark teeth you could barely see them because they're clear but guanas have very it's hurt very yep it's gonna definitely hurt it's gonna mess your day up hey scallywag good job bud. got him got him there's more there's more there's more there's another orange one down there. Small. But we got this. This is a lunch size right here for sure. Just showing. Don't mind me. Look, he's posing for me. This one is a good one too. This is a good one too. These things are fat, bro. Check them out. Different colors too. This is crazy. Here, let me hold them. Let me hold them. Check those out, guys. That's cool. That's so cool. Look at the pattern on that one. These are girls right here, bro. They're female. All the locals seem to be happy. Yep, they got back their territory.
Got you wrapped, bro. Pull him straight back up. There he goes. There you go. <laughs> there he is. He's a grown one. That is a giant. <laughs> Guys, we got our friend, Sean from Scallywag TV over here, y'all. He's catching some giant iguanas. Oh. Yeah, buddy. Monster, good job, Sean. Got him. So our boy Sean, he's actually got a YouTube channel. He does some pretty cool stuff. It's called Scallywag, right there. He's got his own boat. He goes alligator hunting, spear fishing, spear fishing. What, yeah, what other stuff do you do, bro? We do it all: water sports, spear fishing, fishing, hunting. We do it all. Do it all. Yeah, he's got some sick spear fishing videos of him going down and uh, messing with some giant fish and spearing a bunch of big ones and doing catching cooks and a whole bunch of awesome stuff. So really got some nice content right here. And he, he just landed his, his, his personal best iguana personal right here. Personal best. What, four foot, you think? Four, oh yeah. Oh yeah, and he's probably a good like five, six pounder, right? Yeah, probably, probably more, right? Maybe a little more than that. Very, very nice. That's that big one we saw right here. That's the yeah. alpha alpha. Y'all seen all those females? So he just caught the biggest one out of the bunch. There was another one right over there, but he got smart. He was smarter. He took off. But yep, got him in the bag. Awesome. There he is. Get him. That might have been a kill shot. Can you come back a little bit more? Yeah. Check out this one iguana real quick. We're gonna do a nice little uh, appetizer with the tail. Just to sample the meat out. We heard iguana tail is like the best part of the iguana. Oh, still kicking a little bit. Boom, there goes the tail, there goes the meat inside. Check that out. Now this is a female iguana, so we're gonna see if it has any eggs, all right? So. Cleaning some the other day, and there were some eggs, but they were a lot bigger. I don't know if she's mature enough. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But we'll find out right now. Oh yeah, there's some eggs. They're not really developed though. There's not that many of them, but there are some eggs in there. Let's see if there's any more. Oh yeah. There we go. There go the eggs right there. They're not really too, too developed, but as you can see, there's at least 10 in each. So it's like 20 of them. But she's not that big. She's small. I didn't even know she had eggs, but apparently she did. I got them right here. Skinning the green ones actually is pretty easy. 
Now, this is just an appetizer, so we're gonna just try the green one to see how that tastes. And then maybe we can do a bigger one if you wanna see that. But we gotta first see how the green one is tasting. See it right there, it looks just like a little piece of fish, don't it? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Look at that. Piece of like fish. Fry them up. A little salt pepper, a little herbal seasoning. Tail meat cooks really quick, like the white meat of gator. Uh, if you're using the arms and stuff, obviously you can stew that, you know, you can let that take its time. But the tail meat, for the most part, cooks are really, really quick. Damn, that's it. That's what it looks like. Mm hmm. Let's hope it tastes like chicken. Yep. Go ahead. Gator. You wanna grab that small one right there? Hot. So, it's got a similar texture as uh, gator. But it's actually pretty tender. Pretty yep. tender, yeah. It's not uh, it's not chewy at all. Like I, I thought it was gonna be chewy, but it's not chewy at all. Pretty good. It's white meat. Oh yeah. That right there. All right, guys. That's it for this episode. Like always, like, subscribe, share, so we can continue to grow. Also, for exclusive content, check out my Patreon account. Also, go ahead and check out the iguana man. He's out there hunting iguanas every day. Check him out. Until next time, we gone.